Okay, so I'm finally getting around to working on this. Um, this just won't start lately, and I've been sitting here pretty much all winter and all summer. So I'm finally getting to fix it. I got my part ordered off of Amazon, um, just a tune-up kit, and I've uh, checked out a few videos on how to rebuild this. Um, I'm going to try it out because, well, for one, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, these were all melted up on the... Um, on the spark plugs so I'm gonna go ahead and put here's some some pieces right there of the uh, spark plug wires so you can actually get this kit at tractor supply I think it's only like 39 bucks um, it just doesn't come with the wires so I went ahead and ordered one online that has the wires with it so um, but I'm gonna take this off get it back to the workbench in the house or in the shop and that way it'll be a little easier to mess with plus gotta have a place for my coffee so do all that right and it's just, just I think there's just two bolts that hold this on. But like I said, you'll have to check out that video and then it'll show you how to do all this. But hopefully it just needs a little tune-up. Um, it had been starting really great. Um, I mean, just, you know, a couple times and it start every time. We've never had an issue with it. Uh, and we bought it right after we moved in here. But for some reason, um, lately it's been giving us some issues and we just haven't gotten it started. And quite a while I do try every so often I'm like oh well maybe this time it'll work you know but it doesn't so I'm gonna break down and take a look at it and see what's going on um, also just it's been great I don't know what's going on but one point in time we start I mean, we must have busted the seal or something because now there's oil leaking and some other things so probably this fall when it gets cooler um, I'll break this down um, pull it into the shop and and take a look at it because you know I it's not you can always buy a better tractor right with the front end loader and all that kind of stuff but it's just the fact that it's an old farm all kind of like my grandpa's um, I think he had a little bit bigger one though I don't remember what he had but it looks just like this one from what I remember even with the spring seat and uh, every time we'd go to pick garden and stuff on the weekends and things he'd be sitting up in his tractor while we're out in the garden you know my my cousins would come and we'd all sit around get mulberry juice all over our shirts because we were climbing in the trees eating mulberries and probably got in trouble for eating more blackberries than we put in the bucket but you know I just remember my grandpa having a tractor just like this so that's kind of the main reason I have it um, you know uh, otherwise I wouldn't but it's really good for pulling stuff and that's what we need it for we've got some trees in the back that we need to clean up and uh, and get a uh, get out there they've fallen into other trees so we need to get them pulled around even though we're probably not going to do anything with them because they're in the back uh, where we don't really go and stuff so let's get this to the workbench and uh, see what's wrong with it I was like oh there's a um, there's a clump of ant bait in here it must have got wet or whatever I kept shaking kept shaking and it wouldn't come out look <laughs> big old huge grasshopper yeah, I shook the tar out of that and it came out. <laughs> Don't feed it to the chickens because it probably ate that stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to put it in the trash. Yeah. Okay, my table's kind of dirty. Uh, Philip's going to try and rebuild the, his transmission for the Bronco. So we're going to attempt that. But this is what we're here for get this thing taken care of. Probably just get rid of those, but I'll save them for sizes. Alright, let's get this thing broken down and see what's inside. It's the tedious part. It's pretty clean. Wonder if they changed it when um we bought it. Sure. I don't think that's going to be big enough in my kit. It doesn't look like it's the right uh, piece. That must be it right here. That is some caked on dirty stuff. Alright, I'm going to get this cleaned up, 
and taken apart and then I'll come back and show you how to put it back together but like I said um, I'm just following the video um, that Steiner tractor put out so hopefully that's all that's wrong with it okay so actually I bought the wrong kit I just typed in International Harvester uh, well farm all a on eBay and I went back to look at my order and yes at the very bottom of the page it does say does not work for magneto which is what kind mine has so I, I just you know I just assumed farm all a and uh, that was what was on there so this was for a distributor kit so now I'm gonna just clean it up I'm gonna go ahead and use the wires and make new wires and stuff like I said that didn't come with it so I'm gonna chalk that up to an error and I paid 30 bucks for some uh, special little clips and some new wires so luckily it wasn't very expensive so I'll just do that I'm gonna get online and look for the magneto kit which looks like all it comes with um, so far the quick search I did just a second ago it just basically comes with a new condenser um, points and a, and a rotor and that's it so um, I can use that and I'm also gonna get the gasket set because like this one ripped and that kind of thing so um, but yeah I don't know like I said this thing used to run just great never had any problems starting it or um, so I'm not sure if it may not just be the wires so I am gonna just go ahead and kinda put it back together I'll reuse this gasket as best I can just to see um, while I'm waiting for that part and then I, it'll, I'll take it off again it's not really hard to get off um, you know it was two bolts that hold it in place so right now I'm just gonna put it back together because um, I really didn't get into tearing it apart or anything like that um, when I do get the kit I probably will go through the whole steps and you know clean take this off clean all the gears inspect everything make sure it's all working good um, that could be the problem you know but I don't want to do it until I have the right kit so that way when I rebuild it I'll, I'll know so uh, yeah so I'll, I'm gonna wait till then I'm just gonna fix my wires and put them put everything back together that I've already taken off just basically just the, the cap and the, the lid here so and then I'll go put it back on and you know maybe maybe the wires were the problem so we'll see